Tonight's special segment, Lake Invaders. Researchers are sounding the warning that there is a threat to the Great Lakes that may be worse than the Asian carp. This new threat is literally eating up the basic building blocks of life in the lakes. We really are seeing the collapse of food webs in one of the largest lakes in the, in the world. Dr. Charles uh, Kerfoot now, of Michigan Technological University has been surprised by what he and his team have found. We saw a ring of chlorophyll in southern Lake Michigan. That was the first surprise. Something like chlorophyll is supposed to be evenly mixed in the waters of the lake. But in the late 1990s, the Michigan Tech team and numerous other researchers and agencies used boats, and many submarines and sophisticated buoys and even satellite imagery to prove that a kind of donut exists in southern Lake Michigan. The round swirl is a merry-go-round of phytoplankton and zooplankton, the basic building blocks for life in the lake. The donut is kicked up by winter storms and it swirls around a low spot in the lake. That was surprising enough, but there was more. Then came the quagga mussels, and we picked them up near the end of the project in uh, 2001. Think of the quagga as a cousin of the more famous zebra mussel. They probably arrived in the ballast waters of foreign ships. The quagga now lives in the soft bottom of Lake Michigan. Five years ago, a one square meter soil sample of lake bottom contained dozens of them. More recent samples show as many as 15,000 per square meter. Quaggas are multiplying very rapidly and they are eating the donut. They eat all the building blocks out of that water column. They are sucking down all the particulate matter, and that includes the chlorophyll. So the primary producers are being literally uh, sucked out of the lake down to the quagga layer. Starting in April of 2001, when researchers first found the quagga, the green on this map showed the abundance of chlorophyll, phytoplankton, and zooplankton. But by 2008, that blue edge extending out from the shoreline is where the donut has been eaten away. Further evidence is how clear the water has become in southern Lake Michigan, as evidenced on this graph. Some researchers estimate the quagga are already consuming four to seven times more of the basic food building blocks than the lake can produce. Kerfoot fears the lake is losing the battle. There's something wrong when you get water as clear as your bathtub water. There's nothing living in it, you know. I mean, what is happening is the collapse of the food chain. The research goes on while Dr. Kerfoot and the Michigan Tech team wonder why no one else seems to hear the alarm. Dr. Kerfoot says research on how to control the quagga is desperately needed, but he doesn't know anybody who's doing it. What about any natural predators for the quagga mussels? Another problem. The only natural enemy of this invasive species is another invasive species that we don't want. That's why he says we need more research and soon. And figure out something that can be done. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Ron. We're going to turn to weather now.